Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to episode 31 of Space Engineers. So we've got here a classic flying saucer. You see it in a whole variety of films, and it seems like the ship to abduct people off any planet. I don't know why this is the ship to do so. It's a pretty simple design, but I've not seen too many of them in Space Engineers. Well, not too many of them with my sort of design inside. So the idea of this ship is to abduct either resources or people. So we have here on the bottom a trap door, and basically this trap door flies open, you activate the multiple gravity generators, and you can suck up whatever you have. And when things start becoming a bit more affected by gravity, this might be the method of doing so. Especially all them people you'll have trapped inside. So let's go inside. Right, so up in here, we have a nice little control pad where you can see through this protected window what you've actually abducted. So say you've abducted like a field of cows, you go, no, looking, I was looking for people. No, we're going to drop them back in. So we're going to go back up here and we're going to begin the activation of this system. I'm, I'm going to warn you, it's very dangerous, so we need to be very careful here. We don't want to abduct anything at the moment. Right, so we need to firstly open the rotor. So the rotor is ready to go. All it needs to do is be set to a minus value. Right, so there it is, opening up. We've got different variable speeds, obviously, because of that sort of stuff, and that's perfect, because sometimes the people might realize that there's a giant alien spaceship above them and try to run away. So we've got the hatch actually open now. We're gonna actually go inside, and we're gonna activate the tractor beam. So the tractor beam is now activated, and now we need to move to activate our gravity pulse generator. So obviously we could do this pretty fast if we had a few people to do it. So gravity generators, gravity generator. There we go, whack that on. Whack that on. Whack that on. Oop. Whack that one on. And finally, come on, hurry up. There you go. And finally, that one. So now we have a gravity generator that's about six times pull. So it'll conf it'll basically conflict with any other generator that's going down. So I do apologize for the flames, uh, the frames. But you're gonna need a big problem with them lights. So there we go. We pop ourselves out. And now we're underneath the tractor beam. So I'm just going to show you how this works. So you, you might be walking along like, oh, doo -doo -doo. oh no, a giant alien spaceship's above me. And then and then you just get sucked into it. Ah, and there you go. And then basically what someone will do then is seal the hatch. So we're going to seal the hatch. You may want to give me a second to actually navigate this. Oh, damn. Right, so we're back at the control panel. All we need to do now is actually seal this thing off. So we need to get inside it, number one get the view underneath and the door is still opening because I reset it and now we need to quickly access it and go down to the bottom rotor and then we set the velocity to close well let's have it on some faster speed there we go that's that's more that's more that's better speed there we go and now we're sealed beautiful right let's move on with the tour of the rest of the place so we don't have to go up through the ladder out of the abduction chamber and with every sort of spaceship that abducts people, to because you're going to need to brainwash them, basically. So you're going to have to decide what you actually want to brainwash them with. So now I'm stuck, and there we go. Right, so we can just move through here. We have some doors separating this area. And we move on to the main chamber. And it's pretty simple. I've built a few little window doors in here, so we can just watch what's going on in the actual abduction area. So we've got these little tables for people to sit on. Well, not sit on, I'll probably be knocked unconscious and then be probed with whatever you want to probe them with. It's, it's strange that, isn't it? Like, everyone expects them, them to be probed by aliens, but I, I don't I don't, ex don't know why. Uh, so, moving on, we've got some little machinery that I've built. Another photocopier, or whatever you want to call it. We've got a med bay there. If we move on to the other side, we have a cargo storage area. And then down towards here, we have some just, like... This is the armory, basically, and down here we just have some rooms that have no point just to confuse people if they try to enter this place. Because, I mean, in, this is one of them ships, it's a bit like a TARDIS inside. Like, everything's square inside, even though that the actual spaceship's, um, well, more sort of like a s s rounder shape, you could say. So let's move up into the control pad area. So, into the control area, there we go. And now this is the main area where you control everything. We've got a nice seating arrangement there, so all the aliens can have a chat, have some coffee, like you do. And moving in here, we have like a server room, like a control server room. Nice and simple, just some um, assemblers, so you can assemble all your stuff up here. The refinery's downstairs. And over here, we have one of the main control rooms, so people can be assembling stuff as they are 
flying the ship around. So let's actually get in here just to get another final outside view. So, so yeah, the control pad's on top. You've got the engine thrusters on the back. And everything else is tucked in to the little catacombs around the edge of the ship that make up the spherical shape. Well, not spherical. The, the plate sort of shape. I mean, the original design was... I'll, I'll take you over there now. I may as well do. I'll show you. Uh, well, basically, the idea was I was going to build a whole ball and then ha just have the ship as a giant ball. But then I, re I was like, oh, them classic sort of spaceships are so badass. Why is no one making one? And, and I probably need to work on this one a bit more. But yeah, basically, we started with this. And I was going to build like a miniature Death Star um, with like thousands of rockets in the middle. And then it just fires and goes crazy. So I was going to work on getting the, another half of this circle done. But something else I wanted to talk about is another door method that I was thinking of doing. And this is just going to probably be a prototype method. I'll show you. Basically, you cut this up like so. You need to cut it into nice chunks. Hold on. I just realized something that's going to probably go wrong if I do this. We're going to need to fill this in like so. And that in like this. There, there. And then now we just need to cut this in half. So we drag that, cut it. And we need to drag this down. Give me a second. There we go. Cut that. And then basically the idea is you'd cut this into segments. So I'll show you again. We'll cut this into another segment there. Cut that off like so. Obviously you'd have to keep this attached to something. Like a space station or something. And then the idea would, would be you'd pull this layer actually backwards. And then you'd rotate this. Or each layer would be on its own little piston, say in the center. Like so. So these would be slightly offset. So let me just try to imagine it a little bit better for you. So if we... Control C that and then control V it and we drag it a little bit back like this and we, we'd get that obviously as tight as we possibly could and then probably smooth it as well um, so I had it perfect a second ago there we go right so basically the idea of this is we'd have this on a, a rotor here and instead of it being like a standard door that pulls out like I've seen what we're gonna try to do and probably get this by the next episode is get a door that all rotates into one of these panels so it just like contracts and spins like into here and then each one like moves in as well so you've all you've got the size of this massive door but it all rotates into one of these and maybe you could even tuck this below like a crack so you could have it rotate into this one and this one spins like that that one spins like that then that one spins like that and then you've just got this nice really compact triangular sort of shape that's half a bowl and I think it could work pretty well I'm not too sure by the way, there's the um, little gun emplacement. Still needs some work. Space station's being dug in as we speak. But that's all for now, and I'll see you next time.